Hey guys, I'm back. Sorry I've been gone for so long. There's been a lot going on. Um, if you watched my last video, that more or less says a lot of it. And I know I, I was supposed to upload a part two, but it wouldn't upload, so I kind of just gave up on that. And um, what's been happening since then is that I was in the process of moving on top of being sick. So I really didn't feel up to making any videos. Um, but now I feel better somewhat. I'm laying on the couch right now. Um, and I really wanted to do an update. I did move out of my efficiency. I don't know if I mentioned previously that um, I'm a graduate student, so I didn't have a big place and the baby wasn't going to be, uh, it wasn't going to fit there, really. So, um, me and the baby's dad got a new apartment and it's a two bedroom and it's really beautiful. I'm really happy with it. It's brand new and it's in the same area, which is really good. So I lived in a really good neighborhood. Um, so right now I'm just working really hard to get rid of what I don't need and getting this whole place together, taking advantage that um, I have time off from work until baby's born. Um, other than that, to be honest, nothing too different from my last video has happened for, for this second trimester. Um, I am currently about to be 18 weeks tomorrow, so I, um, I'm just going to do like a quick overview of um, what's happened between week 13 and 17. Besides being sick and all that, um, I did a gender, I paid for a 3D, 4D ultrasound and got a, a gender reveal at around at 16 weeks exactly. I had tried to do it at 14 and a half weeks, uh, but they weren't able to get it. The baby was in an awkward position and uh, so they just said wait two more weeks and at 16 weeks I went in. I drank my orange juice and ate my banana because that supposedly makes the baby move around more. And we were able to get the gender. And I was definitely surprised because I wasn't expecting what the gender was. I'm not going to reveal it yet. Everyone was surprised, but it was a pleasant surprise. Um, so yeah, I found out the gender at 16 weeks, and then at 20 weeks, which is exactly two weeks from tomorrow, February 20th, uh, I will be getting a gender reveal um, ultrasound at the regular OBGYN office. Um, for insurance purposes, um, most doctors just don't do one until 20 weeks. So I'm crossing my fingers and praying that it's the same outcome as what I found out at 16 weeks. Um, because at this point, I have everything for that gender and a lot of the stuff I just, actually all the stuff I just can't even return anymore. Um, so, crossing my fingers, but I, I really don't think it's gonna be any different. It was pretty clear what the gender was. Um, let's see what else has gone on. Um, uh, Health-wise, as far as me goes, I am doing better. Uh, for this second trimester, now I'm going to start talking more about my entire second trimester, so from week 14 to up until now, which is week 17. Um, I've been getting migraines on a daily basis and when I went to my prenatal appointment the doctor said that I had the okay to take Excedrin migraine now because I was out of the first trimester. Um, another thing uh, we discussed was the baby's heart rate kept changing. Um, I had got, I went to the hospital yet once again because I was in a very very small very minor um, car accident. We 
Uh, my mother and I were driving, or she was driving, and I was the passenger, and we just hit a curb really, really hard. Um, nothing that would hurt me, but I definitely started cramping. So that scared me, and um, I started looking online at threads at people that had similar experiences, and doctors were recommending that I would just go in, get checked, make sure there was no abruption or... Uh, detachment from the baby and the placenta. So I went and got checked and everything turned out perfect. And um, But I noticed that the baby's heart rate just kept dropping from the previous times that I've had them checked. Um, instead of the high 130s, it was like in the low 130s. So I started getting concerned and so when I went to my prenatal appointment, my last one, I asked the doctor, is that normal? The baby had a heart rate of like 132, and um, I told him it just keeps dropping, and that just seems really low, and he's like, oh, no, that's normal, and the fluctuation um, can mean that um, when it's a little bit higher, that the baby's just moving at the time, and that causes it for it to go up, and then when the baby's sleeping, then it's just naturally going to be lower. Um, so... That really gave me peace of mind that he said everything was fine with that. Um, he hasn't said anything about my weight gain. I've only, this pregnancy, I've only gained about eight pounds so far. And I know that's good, but I can't really afford to gain that much more because I was already overweight when I was, when I got pregnant. So to be honest, I think I'm going to start walking and try to lose weight. Um, just get in the right areas and lose where I don't need it and I do have the okay for that it's, it's just natural walking exercise that I'm already big enough I'm going to be gaining in the right areas, so it's not really going to affect the baby um, but I do fluctuate a lot like I'll gain a few pounds and then when I go back all of a sudden I lost four pounds um, and I know a lot of that has to do with my thyroid issue, which is um, one of the main health issues right now. My thyroid, I used to have, well, I still have hypothyroid, which means I don't make enough hormone for my thyroid to work properly, which makes me gain weight and my metabolism slows down. And I had that pre-pregnancy, <coughs> and it was stabilized, and then when I got pregnant, um, I started producing too much hormone, and um, my antibodies are like really high up right now, and to be honest, it makes me feel sick all the time, but the, I guess my metabolism is working faster, so naturally, I'm losing, I lose a lot of weight all of a sudden, um, and then on top of that, I don't get very hungry, I get full really, really fast for some reason, and I just don't get that hungry at all. Um, so I guess it's kind of good because I really don't want to gain that much weight. Um, what else has been going on? That's pretty much it. Nothing much has gone on other than that. The reason I haven't been updating is pretty much I've been moving. That's all I've been up to. I have almost everything for the baby and the nursery. And uh, I was thinking of doing... Uh, like a baby haul of everything that I've bought. I have tons of clothes. I have the crib. I have the changing table. I have the stroller. I have a bobby. I have some bottles. Pacifiers. Um, a lot of neat things. And I've gotten everything on pretty much sale. Uh, a lot of it. Mo actually, pretty much all of it. Uh, with the exception of a few things. Are from the resale shop. And they're in like new condition, if not new. Um, so I've been able to get a really good deal on that. And that's including the stroller, the crib, everything. Um, I'm going to make a part two of this video because I'm getting really close to 10 minutes.